we are halfway now okay so we're doing step number 10 let's read the instructions and continue with the assignment okay uh, it reads as follows I change the height of the smart art to 1.75 inches remember it's inches not centimeters and the width to 6.5 inches okay let's highlight this implement it and then come back here okay 1.75 height and 6.5 uh, width okay we go back to our document uh, uh, we need to change the height and width of this okay so you you do this here okay this is 1.75 and then the width must be 6.5 okay then you click enter okay and then after implementing this we go back to the instructions file and then select okay okay and read the next part okay they say change the layout options to square and then change the position of the smart art uh, so that the horizontal alignment is centered relative to the page and the vertical alignment is centered is set to or bottom relative to the margin okay so this is basically one instruction okay uh, we can highlight this for now we need to change it to square that's the first thing we need to do change to change to square you click here as we have done before and then select change this to square then click on more options okay then this is supposed to be uh, centered uh, relative to the page and then this one is supposed to be bottom relative to what to the margin if you do it like this you'll see uh, this uh, smart art will be located at the bottom of the second page that is not what we're looking for okay we want it to be placed here at the bottom of or in the bottom or at the bottom whatever uh, uh, of the first page okay so once we get it uh, the only way to get it to come to this position here is by making some tweaks before we we change this to square okay so what you should do is to change the size but not here so what i'll do is and do everything that I, I have done now I was only showing that for demonstration purposes okay so to to undo stuff on win on Microsoft you can click on this icon here or press ctrl Z as it shows you there so I'm just gonna press ctrl Z ctrl Z okay and then after pressing ctrl Z what happened where is it where is it where is it okay ctrl Z okay Control Z, Control Z. Okay, just wanna get it to to change the height, anyways. Okay, so you see now it's uh, back to its original height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce this in such a way that it moves to the first page. Okay, uh, change this to square, and then reduce this. What is it doing now? okay yeah after reducing the size of of the smart art you see it's back on this page where we need it to be okay so what you should do is to first change this to uh, horizontal it's, uh, it's supposed to be centered relative to the page to the page and then uh, this one here it's supposed to be bottom uh, relative to margin okay you'll see now it's uh, at the right position okay so after you've you, you got this uh, at the right position what you should do is then change the height and width as you can see this was supposed to be 1.75 click on that one and then the height uh, what happened to our format okay the height is supposed to be 6.5 6.5 see it's now located in the right position okay first page uh, uh in the bottom or at the bottom of the first page okay so that's where we expect that to be so you could have avoided this by not uh, removing the first line indent when you were doing the, the step where you included your number list and stuff uh, okay 
this is caused by uh, removing the first line indent if you had done it the opposite uh, you would have avoided uh, the trauma that we just witnessed so far okay so that's basically it uh, when it comes to step number 10 please watch the the next video i mean uh, to learn about how to do step number 11